One of our last speakers, not the last one, but one of our last ones. The last one's really good looking. That's me. So <laughs> stick around, stick around. Um, our next speaker, it's funny when I called people up and said, tell me what you've succeeded. He said, well, Gene, I never made it to the major leagues. What he said, he said, I love baseball. He said, I played baseball all my life. I never made it. I was in the Boston Red Sox organization. I met through the minors. I said, so you never made it to the major leagues? He goes, yeah, but I was the star pitcher on the Venezuelan national team. Wow. Okay. This guy, I felt his right arm just a little bit ago. I was a little, it, it felt good. You feel the right arm. It felt good. But I am telling you, you are going to be excited about listening to this gentleman. Because let me tell you, he's my Latino brother. Because I'm from Puerto Rico and he's from Miami, Florida. Let's hear it for Orlando Montiel. Woo! Thank you guys. Really, really appreciate it. Wow. All right. I'm uh, happier than a brand new real estate agent coming out of their first closing. Like super excited. Wow, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. So happy to be here close to so many EXP agents. And uh, my presentation is going to be very brief. Uh, many years as a real estate coach, and I never had the opportunity to truly, truly feel what it is to develop a team of committed real estate agents, all right? So I'm asking you to, play, to uh, please, please pay very close attention to three words, all right, that we're gonna go through today. I just wanna share with you my experience. I know many of you are EXP agents. Some of you are thinking about it. And I'm just gonna tell you what we experienced through the past two years, all right, developing a team of over 2,000 agents, okay? So here we go. Let's see right here. Well, where's the clicker? Where's the clicker? Okay, what we want, right? This is what we all want, right? We want production. We want results. Whether you want to run a marathon, whether you want to be a doctor, right? Whether you want to learn to speak English like me, trying to improve my English, right? Or you want to be a top producer. We want that production, results. But what I've learned through these two years with these 2,000 agents that have become very productive is the following. And I'm not a scientist. I am not a psychologist, right? But this is the number one thing that I've learned. I didn't read this anywhere. It's just my experience. Got it? Yes or no? Yeah. All right, perfect. So this is number one. In order to get that result, we need that transformation. Transformation, please, three words. Number one is transformation. If I want to become, if I want to be a doctor, I need to first become a doctor, right? If I want to run a marathon, first, I need to become a what? A runner. There is no way I can run 26 miles without becoming a runner. Got it? If I want to learn to speak English, I need a transformation in my mind. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Right? So if I want to have the production of a top producer, I need to what to? Become a top producer. Does that make sense? There is no way, and all of us want that. Some of us want more money. Some of us want a bigger team. Whatever it is, that production, I need that transformation. And we are reverse engineering the equation, right? Great, I need that production, but first I need to transform myself. But in order to do that, we learned with these 2,000 agents that we need to what? Develop some habits. I can't have that transformation without developing those habits. Does that make sense, yes or no? Right, so I need to make those habits a reality for my transformation. For example, doctors, right? What's their habit? They study every single day. They go to the library. They go to the hospital, right? If you want to become a runner, you wake up early in the morning. You see Michael Valdez right here. You have the habit of going to the gym. And I've seen you at 5.30 in the morning in the gym, right? You didn't become that fitted you know, overnight. 
you have a habit that transforms your body. True or false? Right? There you go. All right? So it's some habits. If I want to learn to speak English, I need to develop some habits. Every day I need to get a tutor, etc. The same thing with, with real estate agents. Most of you understand this. We, we did understand this before we joined EXP. But here's the biggest difference. And you've re read books about transformation, books about habits, you know, very good books. But this is what we experience. And this is wh where the magic ha happened for our real estate agents in the group and for real estate agents at EXP. This is the key right here, your environment. This environment that we have right here at EXP, it changed our game, and I'm gonna tell you a very brief, brief story, got 15 minutes to go, and more than enough time, all right? That environment, again, one more time, if you want to become a runner, what do you do, right? You surround yourself with other what? Other runners, right? If you want to be, what? Medical students surround themselves with what? Engineers, entrepreneurs, Real estate agents? No, they surround themselves with what? With medical students, right? So if you truly want to become a much better real estate agent, you need to surround yourself with the right people. And let me tell you guys, there is no better environment after 22 years in this business than the environment we have in this room. None, and I can guarantee you that, guarantee you that, and there is a reason, there is a unique model very unique model. The only in the industry that allows you to create an environment like this one. Now, I'll tell you a brief story about a real estate agent called Carla Rodriguez. She's at EXP, right? So we do a retreat, right? Every three months. Michael, you've been there before, right? And we call it the method, the 87D, and we work for 87 days, and we, then we get together for three days, right, to develop the plan, to celebrate, and then work together Right? The, the right environment to truly achieve our goals for the next 87 days. Make sense? All right, so Carla said in one of the retreats, she said, three months from now, I want to quit my full-time job. But I need to make enough money to quit my full-time job, right? So during this retreat, she made a three-day plan. We helped her with that, right? And we, as a group, the environment, Help her, help her execute that plan. She has four kids, she's in her 30s, she has a dog, married, right? And Carla, within four weeks, was able, for four months, I'm sorry, for, was able to quit her job, right? Now, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Now, here's the thing, this is what happens. That environment that you see right there, and this is why it's so crucial to build a team. Most of us talk about rev share, right? And for those of you who are not at EXP yet, pay attention, guys, because you are missing, right? When we join EXP, we talk about, you know, what, and we talk about, you know, the financial part of, of, of the, the model, right? So how much are you getting paid for the property you sold last year, right? Remember, you know that phrase, you know, if, you know, I'd rather have 1% effort of 100 people instead of 100% of my own effort, right? Uh, all of us have recruiting bills, but how many of us have recruiting income, right? So we were focused 100% on the what? On the financial aspect. But this is what happened to Carla. This is what happened to Ariana. This is what happened to many of our people in our team, in our group that are here today. This is what happened. That environment gave us something extremely, extremely ex special. Please write this down. Number one, when you have a team, whether it's 10, 20, 30 people, and you want that team to keep growing, not only because of financial reward, but number one, here we go, having a bigger team gives you the creativity. The creativity to what? To be more productive. And production is not always about money, right? It can also be about being more productive to have more free time, got it? That team will teach you or give you more connections, right? The more connections you have, 
the easier your business gets. That team also gives you the capability, the capability. When you work with 10, 20, 50, 100, 150 agents, 200 agents, some of you have 10,000 agents, the creativity, the connections, the capability you get, you can get it by yourself, guys. You just can't get it by yourself, which, which gives you what? What are we selling? We are all selling what? Confidence. That's all we're selling. Buyers and sellers can get together and close a transaction by themselves. But the reason they work with us is because they trust us. Okay, and that connectivity, that, crea that, that creativity, those connections, that cap capability through your group will give you the confidence. But here's the next one. And this is what happened to Carla and to so many real estate agents. This is the fifth C, right? Write it down. Commitment. Commitment. When you are accountable, not only to you, but when you're accountable to 10, 50, 100, 500 agents, now you can make excuses because you know your team won't believe you. You know you're making an excuse and it still gives me the chills. When I see here Carla and Ariana and all those agents saying, you know what, I elevated my game. And I've been looking to elevate my game for so many years. But now, when I have my weekly meeting with my team, I can't just tell them I didn't make my calls. I can't just tell them I didn't practice my objections. I can't tell them, right, I didn't do this presentation. I gotta show up every single week. And that is the key, my friends. Yes, we all come here at the beginning for the ref share, but the real key is that transformation. And those habits are almost impossible to build without the right environment, right? Every week we meet, Michael, I see Dave right here in the front, right? Not showing up to that call, it's just, it, it can't happen. And you'll see me on vacation, why? Because that environment feeds my brain. It's a lot of energy that I'm getting. When I can, I can talk to Gene, when I can talk to Brent, back there. When I see Jay Kinder talking back there, I'm practicing my English with them too. <laughs> All right, right? So, so this is what, I, that's the environment. Real estate is a very solo, it's a solopreneur, right? Very lonely environment. And when you see the animals in the, you know, in the forest, what happens? When they're by themselves, they get killed, right? If you're a cyclist, what do you do? You go with a bunch of people. If you're a runner, what do you do? You run with other people, right? So what we've learned is that in order to get the results, you need that transformation. We get that, yes or no? Right? I need to transform myself. But in order to transform myself, I need to build some habits. And pretty much the only way I can build those habits is with a group of people. And now, those group of people not only will help me achieve my goals, but way more are as important as achieving my goals the way we enjoy together, when we see each other in different places, right? You have to see the faces, some of you faces, when, when I see you guys, when you see me, when, because we're, we're now together, that doesn't happen in the, re, in the regular real estate environment, all right? So to summarize it one more time, understand that the only place this can happen is at EXP, guys. The only place, guys. Thank you, all right? Thank you. So I just wanna say thank you to Brent for putting this together, for allowing us, all right, one more time to be three days, all of us together, learning from each other, right? Nurturing that environment that will help me improve my habits because coming here will transform me and it will transform you guys. So I hope to see you at every single event so we can keep improving and achieving our goals together. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you.